Good morning. We've been accustomed to having object lessons. I believe the object lessons for our church really have rooted, have their roots, if you will, back in Scripture when uh, Jesus told parables. Parables were just simple stories meant to drive home a meaning or a message that people could understand and, and, and digest and put to life, put to work in their actual daily lives. And this morning, I have just some simple objects here. They're candies, just some simple candies. Take a look at them. I think that some of you will recognize them. They're really one of my favorite candy treats when I when I do indulge a little bit. They come in different colors. These are uh, jelly bellies, jelly belly candies. They like jelly beans, of course. They, they're in different colors, and I have some of my favorite colors to eat, and I hope that maybe if you eat these types of candies, you have some uh, their their favorite for you, and maybe some that are not so favorite. You see this red one here? This red one is my favorite one. It's, uh, it's like a cherry. It's got a little bit of spice to it. It's also one of my favorite colors. Some of these other ones, these brown ones here, and perhaps the white ones, uh, I don't like them too much. <laughs> uh, so if the red ones are your favorites, that's good. In fact, if any of them are your favorites, that's good. But the point of this is that you and I have favorites, but God does not have favorites. God doesn't look at what's on the outside. He doesn't look at the outside of our lives. He knows what's going on on the inside of our lives. That's what he's concerned with. God once told Samuel in the Old Testament, he said, Do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at things that people look at. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. End quote. You see, God looks at people much differently than we do. He looks at what is on the inside. So although you might have favorites, and uh, similar to these candies here, they're based upon how things oftentimes look, when you see candies, remember that God simply does not have favorites, and he looks at the heart. Would you pray with me now as I offer a prayer for a thankful heart? Dear Lord, teach me to offer you a heart of thanksgiving and praise in all of my daily experiences of life. Teach me to be joyful always and to pray continually and to give thanks for all circumstances I find myself in. I accept them, Lord, as your will for me in my life. And I long to bring pleasure to your heart daily. Break the power of the enemy that's in my life. Defeat him through my sacrifice of praise, Lord. Change my outlook and my attitude into one of merciful contentment with my present circumstances. I thank you, O Lord. Jesus, I want to be like you who obey the Father without complaint. You embrace the chains of humanity when you walk this earth. Convict me whenever I complain. Convict me whenever I compare myself with others. Give me your attitude of humility and thankful acceptance. For Lord, I want to be like the Apostle Paul who learned contentment in every circumstance. And I choose to continually offer you a sacrifice of praise, the fruit of lips, that give praise to your name. I long to bring a smile to your face. Teach me, Lord. Teach me the power of a thankful heart. I know that your truth dwells in a thankful heart. For I pray these things in Christ's holy and most precious name. Amen.